now that we have uh, secured the proper pan, we can get to searing. I'm going to place this over high heat, and uh, luckily I brought my own heat source because old Smokey here I think would burn the boat down. Now, uh, as for fat, nothing browns like butter, but butter also burns at a relatively low temperature. So I'm going to augment it with a, a little olive oil. Not extra virgin olive oil, just plain old olive oil. It has a relatively high smoke point and certainly has a, a more neutral flavor. So just going to let this melt over eh, medium high heat. I don't want it to melt so quickly that butter starts popping and jumping all over the place. It contains some water. We want that to evaporate out nice and easy. Don't want any uh, industrial accidents in here. So we'll do that over medium heat. Meanwhile, we will uh, face the scallops themselves. The key to this is that they have got to be bone dry. So I like to go over them with a paper towel just to make sure there's no moisture at all and uh, then give them some seasoning. Salt, always a good idea. You can use um, any coarse salt. I like kosher, of course, but you could use sea salt. There we go. A little pepper. Not too much. Pepper can burn. I'm going to go with a relatively fine grind on this, not a coarse grind. I hear something to point out. A lot of times scallops come with that small uh, muscle, the one that keeps the, uh, the shell closed, still on the side. It is uh, pretty tough when it's cooked, so just tear it off gently and uh, feed it to the fish if you like. A lot of times they're already taken off. This one was still on. So I'm going to check the fat. All the butter is melted and uh, we'll wait for the, uh, the rest of the water in that butter to bubble out. Now once the bubbling stops, watch and when you just start to see the first wisps of smoke come up off of the fat, you'll know that it's time to get the scallops in the pan. And you don't want to wait because once it starts to burn, it'll happen pretty quickly. There we go. Now they can go in. I'm going to work in kind of a, a radial from the outside in. Now this is key. Once those scallops are in the pan, don't go moving them around. If they're going to get a good sear on them, they need to stay put. And notice I'm not cramping them. If you don't have enough room in your pan, you can do this in two batches. A minute and a half has passed, so it is time to flip. And I'm going to go in the same order that I put them in the pan. And I don't want to futz with them any more than I have to. So to get them in position and leave them be. Nice sears there. Some of them are probably going to sear a little better than others. That's okay, especially if they had a little bit more pepper on them. Now these need to stay down for yet another minute and a half. And once again, no finicking, no fiddling, no poking, turning, or checking, okay? There. Now that's what I'm talking about. Almost burned on the outside, barely cooked on the inside. And within that range lies all the, the goodness of flavor and texture that a scallop has to offer.